welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. It's Michelle. Hello. Well, I got some Lucas Krell Studio paints in, and I have to try them out. And I'm going to try them out on a bloom. So this is Thalo Blue Magenta Titanium. And at Jerry's Artist Supply, if you buy three, I know, I can't believe I'm not using that color, right? Um, you get a free uh, titanium white. So I'm like, hey, I'm in for a bargain any day of the week. So we're gonna do a, a 12 inch round tonight and we're gonna do it with a black background. This is Color Place Black Onyx. I'm just gonna pour some down. It seems kind of thick, but I put some Gacky 100 in it just for giggles and I'll, tell you what my colors are as I'm quite laying them down. Oh no, that's good. Oh, I see something and I have, where'd they go? Wait, I put them too close to me. Yep, got it. So I'm using some of the um, pigments that I used the other day. Um, these are Baby Hueys and they are in stock. I just ordered some more. They do come from China, so it takes a little while. And there, there's no cool names, unfortunately. They're just numbered. So I numbered them in my last video. This one's like a kind of purpley hue to it. Hue, hue, ha. So I guess I'm telling you my colors. There's the thalo, blue, the magenta. You can see my, they're a little bit on the runny side, which is what you need for this. And um, this is pinwheel. My favorite. Next to Or, I love Or too. And this is Twinkle. And this is Watermelon. So we should get a nice bloom out of this. And my uh, cell activator is white. I do have some white that I could put down too. That's the um, Lucas Krell. This is just with the pour pouring medium. Oh, it's really thick. No wonder it wasn't going anywhere a few minutes ago. All right, I'm gonna add some Gap 800 to it. I've been doing that lately instead of pouring medium because GAC um, prevents cra crazing. So I'm putting that into my paints. There we go, that's better. And GAC is pretty, um, it's pretty um, liquidy, so. I don't usually torch house paint, but <laughs> quick little for bubbles. I hate bubbles. Who doesn't, right? Okay, um, what's this one? Oh, that was the one that was more green. So you can see the color underneath. That's the green one. Well, I'm not gonna tip these over because I've already got them up. And then I have my Berta. Berta, I love Berta. All right, so little bits of color. Tiny. Oh, that's even too much. Let's stir this up. I think I should put some gack in there too. Oops. Not being very, um, I put two, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna put, I love this color. This is probably too much paint. Nope. No save the gold later. This is the pen wheel. This is, I'm gonna put the white down now. Oops, where's the white? Oh, you know what I didn't try? It's the macaw, and I wanted to try that. Oh, it's really thick. Never mind. Next one. Or, oops. I thin this out. There, it's thin. Macaw, it's not even that thin. You need them thin so that the blow dryer will, will move it. Oh, there's my white. Gold, that's way too much paint, guys. Can you believe it? it doesn't look like it, but it is. Oh, I got bubbles. 
Pop, pop. All right, here we go with the white cell activator. I just thinned this out too. And we're going for the blow. Blow, four. this little guy off and that one we're gonna put some paint around the edges wow look at that or oh my gosh I love that it's my favorite gold ever and um, you can get TLP pigments at fluidart.co and I think I have almost every one of them I've got to stop buying Crazy. It's a pretty one. That blue is really intense though. right off. Darn it. It's not what I wanted. I guess I should have positioned it a little bit more. Oh. All right, it's getting smooshed. So I want to try to move it off this way. So I'm going to position it right here and hope it doesn't fly off. Actually, more, whoops, darn it. That way. Yeah, it's coming along. Actually, the more I spin it, the more it stretches out, the more beautiful it gets. not crazy about this right here. I might have to do some stuff. And that looks kind of odd just sitting up there. I might take that off. Oh my goodness. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Let me rinse my hands off. I have gloves on tonight. I have a bit of a boo-boo on my palm. So this looks really spectacular, guys. I'm sorry, I don't mean to brag. Jeez, Michelle, <laughs> you're such a, you're so conceited. <laughs> I'm not trying to be, I just get excited. Hmm. Wow, there's hardly any paint on there. Oh man, what to do? Yeah, there's hardly any paint on there. It's all on here. All right. I'm gonna do another one, I have to. I didn't prep it yet though. how thick this stuff is but it flew right off oh I hope this dries nice 
that gold is to die for. that it's really cool I'm gonna go again I love these colors All right, let me give it a quick torch just for giggles you're not supposed to tap torch um, house paint just FYI do as I say not as I do <laughs> I still don't like that. I don't know what else to do with it though. That looks like a shell. I know what to do with it. Take it off. There we go. Better. You can always erase. Don't have to be satisfied with what the uh, bloom gives you. out this paint. Look at the transparency here. Oh my goodness. down for close up. I'll get my gloves off and I'll prep another um, wood round. Back in a flash. All right, guys. Wow, I might have to pull some of this right here into the black just to make it a little more cohesive. But hell to the yes. is to die for. Look at that. Ooh. It just sparkles like crazy. Oh, that's the ore and mixed with the um, watermelon. What a perfect combination. I don't know what those streaks are. It's kind of odd. Very odd. Maybe there are bubbles. I can see some bubbles I'm gonna to have to fix up there. The thing I like about these are the colors blend into each other so beautifully. All right. I'll be back.
so yep them's the colors watermelon and gold watermelon and ore and there's macaw in there I'm really liking that I'd have to explore that color a lot more because I haven't been using it and I need to and there's that baby Huey and look at the watercolor effect just amazing love it so it works on black as well as white I might even try a different color back around it's a little wonky line there I might fix that no stop that's it that's all no more <laughs> I'm gonna leave it I can live with it that center looks like a genie or something Very cool. The, um, God, the interference colors, I mean, it's just, it's really hard to see. Once I get them resin, I'll take them outside and show you. Up close and personal. It's a cool line right there. Just, I'm amazed. Every time I do one of these, I'm amazed. So, please like share and subscribe please be safe and create and if you'd like if you see a piece you'd like to make your own please contact me privately at gcfluidart at gmail.com ciao for now